Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining you how to use the cruise control and the infotainment system on the Mazda 3. So the Mazda 3 comes with the adaptive cruise control and the controls for them are located on the right side of the steering. So this is basically to activate the adaptive cruise control. If you see when I press the button, you will see that the notification comes on that it's activated or it's ready to be used. So uh, the other button is the lane assist feature. So if you want uh, during the cruise control, if you want the assistance, then you can press that button and you can see a steering wheel that pops up on the screen. So that is also activated. Now, if you want to set the speed, so you can just uh, go to the desired speed and then press the set button and it will set the but, uh, speed out here and it will show you on the screen and if you want to reduce or increase the speed in a step of one then you can uh, press it once or if you want to increase the speed in a step of 10 kilometers then you can long press it and then it will start uh, jumping from 10 10 kilometers difference and the other button that has been given is the distance to maintain while using the cruise control so when you press it uh, 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 upwards you can see the distance is increasing but when you step press it down you can see the distance has been reduced so the car will maintain lesser distance when you press it down and when you press it up it will maintain higher distance and these are all the infotainment control systems which i have explained in the main review video you can click on the pop-up banner out here and watch the main review video of the mazda 3. so the infotainment system is completely controlled using this dial and this 8.8 .8 inch screen which has been provided in the center dashboard so uh, this this whole uh, control again is using this dial which can be sort of press uh, uh, either press to enter and also if you want to go around the menus you can press it sideways like like a joystick and then these are again the shortcuts your home to go back this is the navigation and then the entertainment so this is this is basically the entire uh, menu option which has been put uh, you you can use using this dial itself so starting off with let's go to the home feature first so you have the information now this clock generally stays like this if you want you can switch them off going into the setting which i'll be showing you later so when you press the information you have two options fuel efficiency monitor which will show you all the 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 trip details that you've recently done and also the vehicle status monitor where it will show you all the details like you know if the service is due which is due on this car so it will be showing that and and also there are the different settings which you can change like you know when you want to uh, uh, the next service date if you want uh, the car to remind you you can change that also now going back again to the main menu this is the communication menu where uh, if I press the menu button now the to press the menu button you have to press this on top so when I do that I get the source list I get favorites the uh, radio station favorites is basically the radio station the station list the tuner controls manual tuning radio then fm settings if i want to change anything inside like you know if i want the traffic announcements that also yes this car can do there are audio settings using which you can change all of it uh, it, this car comes with Bose music system 12 speaker music system so you can change all of those things if you want the linear or the standard all of that is being displayed on the screen itself so when I go back if I want to change the source say from FM to AM to DAB to Bluetooth to USB if the USB is plugged in then it will show me that option as on and also there is a disk which has been given which you insert from here and then you can use the disc option and if you want to completely mute it off then you can just press this audio off feature now when i go back into the main menu again the communication now when i press that it will show me a bluetooth device so when that bluetooth device is connected then i can sort of you know use all the functions of my phone so this car has apple carplay and android auto so when i connect that the whole uh, the phone is connected to the system out here which can be controlled using again the joystick now when i come to the navigation it's pretty simple and straightforward i can just uh, you know zoom in and if i want to search i just have to press the 
dial again and then i will have the enter destination add destination i'm sorry and then i can you know put my destination and then put that and if i want to change the map view i can do that also if i want the 2d maps or if i want the 3d map so a lot of things can be changed uh, using that detail menu now going back again now this is where the uh, major you know changes can be done from the car so in vehicle display where active driving display which is this if you can see it's the heads up display so that can be changed uh, using the menu options given out here i can also change the the height of it the brightness of it the tilt and adjustment if i want my the display to be a little tilted yes that can also be done there is there is different uh, information that can be shown your blind spot also can be shown on that uh, heads up display itself speed limit there is also navigation all of those things and then comes the center display i as i mentioned not much can be changed in terms of its um, look so what you can change is the brightness the contrast the the various information that has been shown so if you want the home screen clock which was being shown out here a while back so that can be changed using this so i can change from analog to digital or whatever out of those two options and also there are different ways to you know the ambient display if i want to change if i want to leave it blank you can do that also and no clock will be shown and this is completely restoring to the factory settings now the instrument cluster now as i mentioned instrument cluster has only just one other type of design which is this so when i press that the counters out here change to the digital ones on both the sides which shows me range and the uh, fuel efficiency that i am doing or i can completely switch them off and then there won't be any information that will be displayed again you can go to restore factory settings if you want to completely reset the the settings on the info or uh, sorry the dashboard screen so coming to the next option is the sound settings again that can be uh accessible through multiple ways you know going from the uh the entertainment system which was there before then there is safety systems like if in case you want the driver assistance you know you can change various settings out there then uh you know a lot of settings out here and also you can change the safety alerts like the road uh, the rear cross traffic alert if you want if you want the lane departure if you want the blind spot warning if you want the 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 sound you know beeping which happens if you want to change that also there is active safety which is your lane keep assist so you can switch that off and on and also you can switch it on from here also there is a button given out here you can press that and switch it off like when i press it you can see it on the screen it will yes see it's activated now again and you can change that there is also collision avoidance if you want to uh, change the alert and you know how quickly the car alerts you about the collision you can do that there is also the view monitor which are all the cameras that are being displayed you can set the priority view when you start the car so that will be the front view you can also do the automatic front view display so again this is the option like when you start the car and if you want to uh, first see the the front view and this is the dynamic guidelines which is your while uh, reversing if you want to see the reversing lines then you can do that parking sensors again parking sensors if you want them to be again how how much you know the the volume should be it should be low moderate high all 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 finer settings can be changed from this menu again uh if we go back then there is vehicle settings now that has door locks how when do you want the doors to lock there is exterior lighting like follow me home lights which you can uh, uh switch it off and then there is also interior lighting there is also rain sensing wipers there are all 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 these the turn signals everything can be customizable to change from here there's also connectivity options uh, your bluetooth settings you can add connections you can remove connections from here you can also have the smart connect smartphone connectivity which is your apple carplay and android auto settings out here there is also the system main system settings where you can change the voice recognition and also in which uh, format do you want the fuel efficiency 
and pressure, the units in which you want the fuel efficiency and pressure to be displayed and various other information from that. Now once we go back, so this is pretty much the entire working of the infotainment system on the Mazda 3. So that was it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful in understanding the functioning of the cruise control and infotainment system on the Mazda 3. Now if you want to watch more videos from my channel then you can click out here and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here. Until we meet next time, bye bye and take care.